Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, Basil here at Sony's headquarters in central London with the Sony Xperia Z5. I asked you guys what you wanted me to test out with this. One of the things you wanted to know was how quickly does it charge? Fortunately or unfortunately, I've been given a set amount of time and a dead Xperia Z5. So I've got a quick charge 2.0 adapter with me that came with my Nexus. I thought to bring that and thank goodness I did. I'm gonna see exactly how long it takes to get this up to a charge capacity that I can work with. Keep you posted. I'm 16 minutes in charging with the Quick Charge 2.0 charger and the Xperia Z5 is 20% charged. Considering there's a 2,900 milliamp battery in there, that isn't terrible. Um, and that was with the power off. I'll finish up charging and see how I go. Hey guys, coming up to 20 minutes as you can see on my watch and the Sony Xperia Z5 is charged up 23%. Um, that doesn't bode amazingly, doesn't bode terribly, suggests that there's around around three hours until full. Like I said, I've stuck this on a quick charge charger. Um, this is, however, a prototype device. Maybe it isn't representative of the actual charge time. 30 minutes in and everything's changed. It's gone and moved from three hours down to one hour and two minutes. In addition, I'm at 37% battery. So everything's just started happening a lot faster. A reason for that might be the background processes from switching the phone on for the first time have um, finished up and it's recalculated uh, the time for the charge uh, with that quick charge adapter in there. Either way, that bodes well. I was really disappointed at first. You could probably tell in my voice and by what I was saying in the fact it said it would be three hours until fully charged. The one hour remaining is much, much more appealing um, and in line with what Sony was saying at the launch about this having a quick charge. We're at 99% battery. The Xperia Z5 has been charging for one hour and 54 minutes. I'd say that's pretty conclusive uh, indication that you can charge this thing up in shy of two hours from completely flat. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, click that thumbs up button. Stay tuned to BTEC. We'll be doing a lot more on this. If you've got any questions about it, file them in the comments section below. Also, if you want to win a Vodafone Smart Ultra 6, best value for money phone that we've seen of late, just follow us on Instagram. It's that simple. Full competition instructions will be posted later today. Thanks for watching. SD and a micro SIM slot. So this is going to be expandable by 200 gigabytes, which is mightily impressive. 32 gig onboard memory, 3.5 mil headphone jack. This is going to also be compatible with a set of headphones that Sony is going to be releasing, which allows for both digital noise cancellation and high resolution audio all at the same time. Around the back, it's a new camera sensor, 23 megapixels. And um, what's really awesome about this is that it combines a new focus system with a range of other things to make it a